Hello everybody. Today I'm going to go over physical security and basically how it works and how it keeps you secure and how it doesn't keep you secure. Most often, physical security comes in the form of locks. There are many types of locks and they can be found almost everywhere. I'm sure you've seen it probably every day. They're in the vehicles we drive, they're on the bikes we ride, and they're on the doors we live behind, but how secure do they really make it? The most common type of lock is the cylinder lock. To understand how secure they are, you must understand how they work. A cylinder lock is comprised of a free-moving cylinder encased in an enclosure. Both cylinders have holes drilled that encompass vertical pins that have two halves. The pins are held down with springs. When an incorrect key is placed into the lock, the separation points of each pin do not line up with the shear line of the cylinders, and the lock will not turn freely. However, when a correct key is placed into the lock, the separation points of each pin line up with the shear line and then allow the inner cylinder to turn freely, therefore unlocking the lock. A physical door lock provides the security that the average person cannot walk right into your home and do harm or steal your belongings. Unfortunately, too many people rely on this as an end-all security measure. Despite their strengths, locks have several security vulnerabilities. One of the easiest and most common attacks made on a lock security measure is brute force. This includes any means that damages one's way through a security measure. A lock does not help if someone can kick in or burst open the door. Even if the door cannot be kicked in, one must notice the security of entry points other than that door, such as windows, sliding glass doors, or even the garage. A severe flaw in the use of locks is the ability for a potential thief to open the lock without a key. This obviously defeats the entire purpose of a lock. The art of doing this is called lock picking. This type of attack on physical security does not leave obvious physical evidence like the brute force attacks. Tools to pick with are often not difficult to purchase, but laws vary from state to state on the possession of such tools, from perfectly legal to misdemeanor and even felony. The most effective technique you can incorporate in home security to ward off brute force attacks is to install an electric security system that can notify the authorities if windows or doors are open without the alarm being turned off. To make lock picking more difficult, it's best to research the type of locks you install. Look for locks that state that they have security pins. These are specialized pins that make it much harder to open a lock without a key. With these vulnerabilities, nothing is ever completely secure. Instead, locks act as a deterrent against potential thieves. One of the most common vulnerabilities found in any physical security is the fact that it relies on the owner to make sure that everything is set and locked the way it should be. What good is a 10-pin security lock if you don't lock it when you leave the house? I hope this video has opened your eyes to some of the potential security flaws of the average lock, and that you can better protect yourself and your valuables in the future.